Hello everyone and welcome to Suburban Stone Age. Today I wanted to share a quick video with you about another use for an IBC tote that I came up with um, that's been wonderful. So what you're looking at here is a newly created slash designed slash upgraded um, chicken container. It's for my baby chicks. Um, so I'm raising them in here. We got them Thursday, so today is Sunday. We've had them, um, let's just say three full days. But man, as everybody knows, if you've ever had chicks, they grow fast. We outgrew the Rubbermaid. I had them in for a few days by now. So um, I knew I needed to get a bigger place for them to be. There's 10 of them. That's a lot. That's a lot of poo. And to keep things sanitary, the solution to pollution is dilution. So if you have that many, you need a lot more space to keep things clean. So um, I, as you know, have IBC totes that I've been using for various things, such as rainwater collection and wicking bed gardening and dog fencing. And uh, the wicking bed project is where you cut the IBC tote. So I had this top part that I wasn't using. Um, and when I needed some more space for my chicks fast, it turned out to be an ideal container for this purpose. It's lightweight. It's tough. It's non-toxic. I basically just cleaned it off, dragged it into the garage, flipped it upside down, propped up the corners, which probably wasn't even necessary. Um, and then I scrounged around for bits and bobs of fencing that I had in the boneyard on the side of the house. And I was able to get this old fence that I'd built for the garden probably 10 years ago. Um, plus, this is a bottom with wheels to um, a pet cage that we had had when my cat was recovering from surgery. Um, so what's nice about IBC totes, aside from the fact they're they're just lightweight and very useful, but they're standardized. Their sizes are standardized. So the dimensions actually are pretty close to a lot of things that you'll already have or find, which means they're easy to mix and match. And that was what made it so fast and so easy to find um, a lid, you know, or at least some kind of a solution for a lid. So uh, in a second here, I will break down real quick what we did and then give you a close-up view. So the back part here is solid. That was just to give them um, a place to go if they wanted a little more privacy. The weights that you see are to not only keep the chickens from jumping out, but more as an additional safety precaution in case the dogs get in the garage. They will kill these chickens in a heartbeat and then game over. So the weights are there to keep the dogs from easily nuzzling, you know, the thing open and raiding the chicken coop. They could still do it if they were determined, but hopefully it'll buy me enough time. Hopefully they won't even get in here, but if they do, it'll buy me time to uh, stop, stop it. Also, the little wheels conveniently acted as a hinge. So like I say, this old piece of fencing I already had is the front. Again, it's weighted down um, to make it more difficult for the dogs. Um, to make it a little bit easier to open, I remove that center weight when I'm changing water and food. But the other weights are zip tied on so they won't slide around. And then I just uh, am able to uh, open it. And then I was able to set this craft light that I had just kind of on the top to give them a little bit of daylight. And they also get natural light from the window in the garage. Finally, I'll show you the inside. So I'm lifting, I've taken the weight off. I'm lifting up the lid real quick. It's still heavy because of the dogs, but I can do it. And then you can see inside that they have this really cool little heat pad. I've had this already from Raising Chicks, but I love it so much. And I'll put a link in the description. I got it from a company called rent a -Coop, and it was an investment, but I love it. And the chicks love it too. So that's their source of warmth. There's their fresh watering containers, conveniently placed. I've given them fresh greens and a little bit of grit. And there's their little food. 
And then I've used shredded junk mail and wood shavings for their bedding. And even though there's 10 chicks, there's plenty of room for them to run around and get exercise, as you can see. And they really seem to enjoy that. They're, they're getting to be rambunctious youngsters right now. Um, so having that extra space um, cuts down on um, how dirty it gets, but it also gives them room to be happy and scratch and peck and play until they're older and it's time to move them outside. It's been really damp and rainy outside, so even if I wanted to, the weather isn't great for them to go play. So this has just been a really, really good answer, and it took me... It took me about an hour to put it all together. I had all the stuff already and I was just very pleased with how it came out. So if you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more updates on our backyard chickens and um, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thanks everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.